The second I move away from the slide, of course, here we go. Our first game of the first day of the lower bracket, survival is on, and look at that. One of the most beautiful things to witness in Warcraft 3 on the screen right now, Infi-Human. It looked really good with Human before, if you guys remember the games, especially against Happy, for example, as well. Absolutely devastating. Uh, he defeated Colorful with his Human, he defeated Soen with his Human, and he defeated Happy with his Human. Infi's random when he lands on human has been 100% successful so far this tournament. We'll see if that continues. Yeah, not only that, it looked so good. As if he has never done anything else in his life. So perfect. Like, Infi might just be the second best human player in the world still. And that's so crazy, dude. How yeah. can that <laughs> even be a thing, man? <laughs> no, <I have> no <laughs> He's not been playing competitive human for... Years. Is he getting a taste for it again? He's utterly disgusted, seemingly, with the raids for a long while, but things have gotten better for sure. Fly, pick, picking the Farseer Grunt head on a build, which uh, is going to work out perfectly against human normally. Did you see that yawn? That was one of the most energetic yawns that I've seen on this uh, screen here. Get it all out, Infi. Get it all out. Thank you, Say So. For the 68 month resub, go go Infi! Say so, by the way, will be part of the Stormgate show match that we are screening for you tomorrow. Facing his brother Seron. Battle of the Brothers transcends multiple games. Think of it, sub bro. Alright, Archmage here starting off with a level 2 creep route, going for the Tosca right away. I always like this opening, you're not going to be stuck on level 1 ever. It's uh, quite nice to have. Slows down the tech a little bit though, if you want to go for the tech. And the one of Mana Steel, that's a sick early game item, my, my dog. When you both have summoner's heroes and you take mana away from your opponent, then one player has more summons and the other has less summons, which is a plus 2. Quick. Quick maths, Neil. Quick maths, very good. There we go. And in the case of a fast, it's even plus three because obviously it's two wolves there. And now in fee, almost getting the last hit. Close one. Fourth farm. Expansion play it is. Here come the militia. How much can Fly do? He's got two headhunters and a grunt. Farsi, of course, at the ready. But not too much mana anymore. Fly needs some sick last hits. A peasant goes down, a footy goes down. It's looking fine. And he gets the big one! Level 2 Fly explodes. Sick, sick, sick kills. This early game is certainly his now. Yeah. Also stole the item. That was a pretty sloppy execute by Infi, honestly. Um, you can't always prevent it 100%, this steal, this last hit steal, but the item should be yours. And it should be made a little bit more difficult normally. Ooh, Infi now in trouble despite this wonderful wand of mana stealing. Doesn't look too good and it's gone already. No level 3 on Infi. 2.3 on Fly and Fly is not done yet. Ruthless aggression. One foot is saved to the side. That is sweet. Moves it back in though. Wolf chasing. Hungry. Has to stop chasing now. Everything's hurt on both sides. Infi calling new militia. These Water Lamentals though looking good, they are saving Infi's behind right now. If not for all this mana, this would have been a disaster. Water Elementals about to run out, some of them though. AM is going to have one more to summon soon, as we see mana running low on both heroes now. But the expansion for Infi seems quite late indeed. Whew. Can he still recover? With Arcane Towers up, one in the base, second one coming. Power build... Should work out, but he is a low lumber, and as he said, the tech is massively delayed. Tech for Fly is done already. Expecting a second hero. This could be a Fire Lord game, couldn't it? Oh, no, it's a Panda second, which is also something that Lin played yesterday. And Infi here is struggling. Finally gets to level 3. That's huge, but needs more mana. This game might be over quicker than we all wanted. Bringing the heat on this map, of course, no proxy barracks. 
Where's Lin played it yesterday? And Infi still getting some revenge kills on this headhunter. Uh, deny by Fly. This is Fly in tip top shape as it seems. Infi is so far away from a strong state, it seems like. Even here, if the expansion is mining, he doesn't have a strong tier 2 army for a long while. Misses the deny. This level 3 on the Farseer. This Farseer was allowed you way too much. Way. Yeah. Great, great, great early by Fly. Beasteries coming. Little late in the macro, maybe. But he was low lumber anyway, so maybe that doesn't... Uh, it, it, it's, it's not him to blame. Again, we engage. Heroes out of arcane range. And man, Infi is holding on to dear life. Beastery is about to finish. Once we have raiders coming, things are going to get even more difficult with more and more ensnare. Chop finishes though for Infi. That's a big deal. He's healing up in the back, but the healing gets cancelled right away. Good play here again by Fly. But now he is completely out of mana. Oh, Archmage. Panda diving deep, has no inventory though. Town port by Infi to move away. And that is of course Flood. Gates open for Farsia, Headhunter, Panda. And the shop is on the left hand side. He was able to buy something. So a couple of seconds to recover for Infi. Yeah, healing up. He's gonna have good mana now for lots of watch elementals, but it's certainly a lot of peasants dying. This is like the emblematic human game. <laughs> Just stuff dying all the time. Fly only crept a single green camp, guys. Let's keep that in mind. Yeah. He's level 3.2 on this Farseer. Pan are close to 2 as well, as Infi only now starts the tech. 7 minutes 24 tech timing. That is 2 minutes behind. Ouchie! So Fly, your job is to close this out. Needs to heal a lot. And of course, there's no Shadow Hunter. The Farseer Panda combo. How does it scale into the late game when you're facing a Mountain King? Yeah, I think that's where Fly really doesn't want to go. Um, clap and a big Sorcerer and Breaker army, especially Breakers, would probably destroy him. So I think the idea here is creep up a little bit more, heal up right now, level the Panda. And what does he have? Lots of Raiders and a Panda. Kill the expansion, destroy the buildings, win the game. Here we go. But once the Mountain King is out and gets a couple of kills, there's certainly a solution for Infi. Economy is running, finally, on heavy, heavy cost. But Infi was always the Iceman, not getting deterred from stressful early game situations. Scouting with the Watch Elementals. Forcing the TP earlier was really nice by Fly. This means that now the Archmage is forced to just camp. He can't go out of the map because he doesn't have a TP. If he gets killed, the game is over. Infi can literally do Nothing right now with his army. Until now, though, he dares. He dares to go out with the AM. That is really risky. He could be getting caught here, but lucky for him, there's no raiders around at the moment. Well, on the left hand side, they're moving there now from the lab. Level 3 on the panda, and snares ready. Infi with an invis. Been scouted though, he's not revealed. There was, if there's another charge of crystal ball, he can look for him. There we oh. go. <laughs> he didn't see the dust. Infi didn't steal the dust, what? No, 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 that's the crystal ball. No, but he used the dust still. Oh. That's on the Farseer. He didn't steal it. That's a big mistake. It's gonna cost him the TP here. And he wasted the invuln as well. That was pretty bad by Infi. Invuln wasted, dust not stolen. This was pretty sloppy, gotta say. Well, humans can still recover with infinite towers. Yeah, if he doesn't look too happy, like, oh, what the what the hell is happening? <laughs> okay, more and more and more raiders. We've seen it yesterday in Lin versus Forty. How dangerous this can be! Plus a level two Breath of Fire soon, which Fly didn't skill yet. Ah, there we go. And a mana potion. Oh God, this might just be the end. Supposed to hold this. <laughs> I don't know about this, bro. <laughs> Okay then, Infi. Good luck holding this. The Breath of Fire is taking care of the HP bars of Footman. That's one down, a passenger as well. Mountain King isn't out just yet. Raiders have a clear primary target, and that is to prevent the mighty dwarf. If he is just is getting trashed. Has to go for a panda himself just before the altar went down to have something. 
But yeah, this this is hitting too early. Infi is not ready. Oh my god, you do so much damage. Man, that hype train stopped quickly. Infi, human, we were all thinking this is gonna be it, this is gonna be fireworks, but the fire is only on one side, and that is flies. Great execution, great timings, great last hit, some invites by Infi as well. One thing he cannot afford, and that is an overcommitment here, as lots of raiders are down. Panda might invite to a barbecue. But, I mean, even if he kills three to four raiders, it doesn't really matter, as the base is only there at like 50% of what we've seen before. Oh, six saves by Fly as well. I'm rescuing these low HP units. And it's just the Farseer show now. Every round of wolves is so strong. This game is about to be over. Infido enjoying the masochism right now. Some people are really into that, you know. I know. Uh, there are, there are uh, web pages, in fact, uh, where you can see that. Some people are making that uh, their, their business, even. Time we live in. <laughs> 23 workers. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. Level 4 Panda, level 4 Fasia, tier 3 on the way. Fly, of course, knows this is the biggest stage. He created it himself. Infi is seriously down to three priests <laughs> at nine workers on two bases. Yeah, he's holding on to hope. <laughs> well, you know, Infi uh, probably wants to give Fly a little bit of a head start. Uh, really start on map two, because... Felt like he needs a coffee or something. A little shot in the arm, a little little slap in the face to wake up properly. Yeah, I guess uh, new game, new map, new rules is what we're gonna see following this one. But like, there's zero chance for a comeback here. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> their intentions isn't. Infi is one of the whole. Oh my god! Moly! Knubberquake's coming in with 100 gift subs! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Just to celebrate the end of Infi on map one. The GOAT, the undisputed GOAT, B2W Knubber in the chat. Knubber, my dog, you are insane. I don't know if this is a bit of a birthday gift as well for me. Uh, <laughs> But in any case, dude, thank you so much. That is crazy. Infi's human finally gets defeated. It is Fly, the one who does it. And Infi... Maybe if he gets 100 subs, he's also going to wake up. Because he's going to get something. <laughs> well, he was definitely aiming for some screen time. That's for sure. Good to see, man. And another 100 gifted subs, Knobber. Oh my god. Absolute madman. <laughs> Bro. What the hell? Freedom coming in with 10 gifted subs as well. Out of this world. What the hell? Knobber said earlier. Holy crap, guys. He woke up Thank in the you. shower this morning, hung over AF. Maybe, he, <laughs> did he celebrate with you tonight? I don't know. Oh my god, this is insane. Thank you, Freedom. Thank you, Knobber. I'm gonna have one drink on you tonight, Knobber. Oh, yeah. One of the... Maybe three drinks I'm gonna have. Yeah. Very responsible, uh, <laughs> Mr. Remo Demo, as always. <laughs> as he was at Rara Land. And I'm, I was responsible at Rara Land. Yeah, I'm not saying that ironically or anything. Remo Demo yeah. was uh, picture perfect with his behavior at Rara Land. Until the last night, and the last night we went hard. That's fine. I slept like I slept like two hours, and I almost missed my train. Oh, that would have been so bad if I missed the train. <laughs> Thank God I caught it like last minute, dude. For real. <laughs> oh boy, we are having a second match, and man, this feels amazing. January is always quite a bit of a rough month because you know the ad revenue is always best in December because. It all the company wants you to get Christmas presents, etc., etc. January, then a bit of a down. Oh my God, bro, bro, <laughs> you're going crazy, bro. Another, Another 100, 100 gifted subs. Wow. Dude, this sub display counter is gonna last longer than this stream. Yeah, probably. Holy crap! Gift sub. 
with the five gifted subs as well. Jesus Christ. Clubber Quake's gift sub number 6882. <laughs> 6882. Cheers. And somehow I dodged the sub. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Brolin, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. B2W Knubbe in the chat. Core nuts with the 100 bits and we with map number two. And this time, Jay Salarax with 10 gifted subs as well. Jesus what? Christ. It's Good Friday today. It's definitely a good Friday. Holy moly. We got an Orc Mirror. So we do. <laughs> we also have some Warcraft here on this stream. All right. Yeah, uh, yeah. Dark mirror now. Infi, of course, on random. And Fleiser going for the Farseer. So unlike Focus, he's not going for the Blade Master Grunt build, which normally he would certainly prefer in Orc mirror. Now it's going to be Farseer on both. All righty. As we said before, Infi on Orc. You might think, oh, Fly is going to be the big favorite here. It's this main race versus Infi's uh, sub race, I guess. But that's what we thought when Infi was playing in the Ascension Decider versus Soen. And that strat worked out beautifully with the Fire Lord. Lots of pressure and even some towers. Infi, though, losing a lot of HP early. Has no heal selves here, of you course, for quite some time. Yo, Jay Celerex with 10 gifted subs and one to me and one to Zach as well. <laughs> Guys, you are crazy today. Thank you so, so, God so much. Damn, this is mad. This is mad. Just like the games are mad, the players are mad. But at the moment, it's look uh, for Infi, it's looking quite bad. Yeah, not the start he was hoping for. Infi really between heaven and hell so far this tournament. Group yeah. stage, really bad. Ascension, amazing. Today, starting off rough. Right on. Fly coming in. He, uh, in this organization with TH Infi and Fly, he was the one with the best results after their pro career has ended and their streamer career has started. And he's showing once again that he's still part of the top players in Warcraft. Yeah, this certainly came out of nowhere. Fly heading into this tournament. Nobody had on their list, but maybe can surprise all of us. Good start here once again. He's got a bit of a lead. Oh, and he's all over the place. Look at that. Finds here another creep jack, prevents this camp from being taken. Maybe can claim it for himself. Tech is relatively even. Last hit now. Chain lightning for Infi. Okay, we finally got some momentum on the Iceman. Level 2.5 item. Still to fly with a big invo potion. Can be nice later on. But of course, mana or even Scroll of the Beast would have been a bit better. Both are going into fast air headhunters now. Yeah, one grunt going down. Could be pretty annoying later on if we see some close fights. Farsi Headhunter normally means Panda second these days, so you need to be close to the tavern soon. The hype train is in, by the way, of course, with all the subs. We are about to breed our you previous really record that was just problem. established in December, I think. So three minutes for you guys to break that thing. Uh, I think there's also new emotes for higher level hype trains. So get him! Level three Farsia ready. Oh, replenish. So good right now. Yep. He doesn't even have to get salves still for a while, I guess. As the tier 2 finishes, here we have the panda for Infi. But Fly can't get to the tavern right now. And there's a panda. Which is really, really good Do against like unupgraded headhunters. And that's exactly the timing that Infi is playing. A whole different beast compared to map 1. Cancelling a lot of regeneration here. All right, no tier three yet. Right now it's about defense, defense. Flies Burrows in trouble. Lots of damage, of course, from these Berserkers. Flying to react quickly. Infi finding a way back into the game. But now everything hurt. 
Ooh. Oh. Headhunt to fall into a wolf, little sloppy, as we get 10 more subs by Ra. Ah. Jesus Christ. Hype train still running. Tier 3 Amazing on the guys. way. Thank you. Again, again, again. Infi took out a burrow, bought some time for himself. He's now going tier 3. I also expect it to go tier 3, I guess, at some point. Can't afford it right now. The tier 3. Is that a liability or a game winning decision? Fly is supply blocked, working on the burrows, got the shaman hard up. And level wise, it's fairly even with the advantage of Infi on the panda. Really like the items here for Infi as well. Mantle of Intelligence, baby. They are so good. Early game, mid game, even in the late game. On the mana heroes, right click heroes. Really strong. All right, fighting now over this last item. Level two in the panda. Drunken Haze can be good. Indeed, if you hit it off targets, panda as well. Alpha Fly almost goes down. So you're gonna go back in. Infi got it. Matt. Oh, Breath of Fire is getting hot in here. Solid engagement. Infi is, of course, the one who can rebuild his units at the moment, too. Had Hunter saved to the side. More Breath of Fire. Fasia sticks around, gets another last hit in, but same can be said about Infi. A brutal mid game. And the brutal support from the community continues with Taste Tosterone. Five gifted subs. High five, mate. Thank you so, so, so much, guys. Jesus Christ. Gifted subs out of control today. Absolutely amazing. As Infi uh, seems to be finding more and more footing. The items on the panda are so good for Infi. If he gets level 3, this panda is going to be a big, big threat. And he also got level 4 on the Farseer. What a huge XP lead now. Yeah, this, he's working with here. this is an absolute fantastic game. This is so weird, dude. Infi with his main race for 15 years, getting absolutely <laughs> obliterated. <laughs> And then he gets his opponent's main race, and he's the one to obliterate. So far, that's definitely the case. Tier 3 now done. Berserker upgrade coming. Infi's Burrow, perhaps a little bit late, but Shadowhunter should still be joining. Shadowhunter 3rd for Heal Wave, crucially important. And guess what? We also have a Master Training soon. I hope you guys are ready. What's up? Rah, rah, rah. Rah, rah, rah. At the moment, it's just the Berserk sound, but I guess everybody is a sub here on this channel now, so everybody should have the emote ready. And if I see one person not spamming BTW rah rah rah, you'll, you'll be banned. Alright. It's gonna be a lot of work for the mods. <laughs> Panda in trouble. Invoke potion oh. gonna be needed last hit. Not sure who got it. But what he does have is a sick Breath of Fire, the level 3 panda. Yep. About to close out this game. Exactly. He wanted to go for an alchemist for the heal spray, but just arriving a little bit too late. Infi got the last hit here. Purge. Panda. Get dead. Owned. Oh my god. Will we even see the rah rah rah? Oh. Guys, you gotta what? wait. Yeah, you gotta, gotta wait. wait. Hold, hold on. Hold on. It's not there yet. Infi, come on. Tactical TP. Tactical to pee. <laughs> Master training is coming. Ooh. 90 seconds. Dude, that. He's just annihilating that alchemist. There was no armor whatsoever. Two kills for Infi. The four race king is truly back. A royal performance here. Infi with a really good game. Map 2 comes back swinging. GG is called. Didn't get to see the Bloodlust. God damn it. Other than that, though, great game. Infi taking a sip. Now he's back in business. And we're down to a best of three. Here we go. This is the Infi we want to see. Series is tied up. 1-1. One, one. And a tier 3 sub by ESL Makosh. You've been supporting like crazy in the past couple of weeks. Thank you so much. And with that, Mr. Remo Demo, we are pleased to announce that we will get to see Boss Temple. Nice! Oh man, this is gonna be so weird. And Infi is praying hard that he doesn't get Night Elf here, I would think. Uh, LT normally considered 
a really bad map for Elf. But if it's unpredictable, oh, wait, Fly has to go Farseer here, right? Or does he? Of course, if if the Org is playing Farseer, then all of a sudden, Night Elf is feeling a lot better. Yeah. Hmm. Even Undead would be pretty okay, I would say. Yeah. Just roll with the punches, man. Orc is man. the one race that normally you cannot fast expand with on this map or any other map. But in all other cases, I would certainly expect a fast expansion here by Enfi. Fly's going to have to scout and going to have to be aggressive. And I guess that forces him into a farce here then, if we go down that route logically. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. This is going to be a banger for sure. Fly's pick, he must have a plan in mind of what to do, knowing that Infi would could be random. If he feels comfortable with, with the Farseer, why not? Against human, that work very well. I also think against Undead, this will work very well. In a mirror match, hmm, maybe Infi is favorite there. Yeah, I love that Infi is playing random here in this tournament. Uh, makes for a lot of mind games. Makes for spicy games. What the hell? <laughs> what was that? The Being haunted? Crazy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Either it's the neighbors or maybe it's a ghost. Maybe it is a ghost. Dude, that sounded weird. Oh, yeah. Didn't you know? Once you turn 33, you get a ghost as a pet. I named mine Willie. Nice. It's like an AI assistant. I can just ask him questions all day. And uh, like, ooh. Ah, uh, it's, it's not that much was back of an assistant. <laughs> it's not doing the dishes. It's, it's, it's not cleaning the the the, the uh, flat, and you can't even cuddle. It's a horrible pet. That doesn't sound good. No. Wait, did you ever have a pet? I'm kind of like a godfather of a pet right now, as my landlord bought a dog, and that dog really likes to play with me. And uh, yeah, that's what's, that's what's, my life now. What kind of a dog is it? Do you it's, know the breed? Of course I don't, but it kind of looks like a, a husky was involved once. Cool. Yeah, it's a very it's a very pretty dog. All right, guys, we are ready. Map number three. We're loading into Lost Temple. Random spawns, random race, and we're back to human baby. Here we go. Oh man, if Infi only had the human rolls against Happy yesterday. Arr, still pains me. But all right. We have Fly on the left hand side and we got Infi on the right hand side. And this is the perfect spot, I guess. Well, you could debate if cross position would be better for Infi against Fasia Harass. But attacking a human expansion here on the upper right hand side will take a long time. Yeah. I wonder the travel distance. Which one is longer? Is it this one or is it the cross position? The age old question. Which one is it longer? It might actually be this one, right? I should, wanted should this be pretty similar. for Warcraft maps for a long time. Like, can someone please come up with like a metric of rush distance? That would be so good. Fly is in fact scouting. We'll find out that he doesn't have the fortunate spawn, which is, uh, well, not always going to be with you. So, he's going to have to go with the farce here, check out what's going on with the wolves. But Infi should have a good amount of time to himself. Oh, and my stream takes a little bit of a break. But yeah, man, orc versus human on this map, if it goes late game, it's going to be fireworks, man. I can't wait to see all the spells being thrown around. So far, both maps, very, very one-sided. Can you please mix that and boil it up and bring us a banger game three? Fly, heading north. He doesn't know yet where Infi is. The peon hasn't scouted yet. Oh, he's gambling. But Infi here is at this position. Oh, when he's lucky. Imagine if Infi had been cross, and then the Farsi would be in no man's land right now. Yeah. So, at least not worst case scenario for Fly here. Dude, what a gamble. This could seriously cost him like a minute and a half. But no, finds him immediately. No fortification, no towers. Archmage, of course, 
pretty nearby. First worker. Killed him. He's spending his gold. Is he saving for the power build right away? Oh, he is. Wow. Not making a tower, cutting footies. Almost looks a bit greedy, but if he gets away with it, it's going to be all the better. Can't power build anymore. No lumber. That harass already successful. Fly decides his strategy can only unfold on tier 2. Pretty fast tech. Maybe he should have made a tower first, I guess. Um, but let's take a look at how many peasants would fall. Only one gone down so far. That's still fine. Ooh, but a big kill for the Archmage. Getting this XP is so valuable. I've mentioned plenty of times before, this map, it's very, very tough to get level 3. So every bit of XP beyond level 2 is going to be much welcome. And the Farseer is starting to drop pretty low HP as well. But Infi's economy is suffering. Still no Arcane Tower in the main and still not able to afford that. Second base almost up. I wonder how Fly is going to be playing that. Raider is certainly an option again. Wyvern also an option. But Infi is stabilizing as Fly retreats during nighttime to the middle, where of course there's the heal farm. All right, Farseer charging up again. He's got a good amount of mana still left. Wolves can be re-summoned, like we see here, waiting for the tier two. I would say the position here not good enough to go for like a Panda or Fire Lord all in again. Probably gonna be a TC. Could be a TC counter expansion game, perhaps. <sighs> Sub notification still running, by the way. <laughs> Pretty insane. Um, okay, stabilizing we are. What's gonna be the plan on tier two? Panda again. Is it time for some proxy beasteries? Okay. That, I think, should rule out a macro game then. This looks quite all in to me. Double beastery. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Raiders, Breath of Fire. Davai, Davai. The two tournament organizers, two friends, two colleagues, duking it out. Winner of this map cla claims match points. And Fly is back at it again. Still the corpse is there from the last harass. Not a pretty workplace this is. Pretty great to get the Arcane Tower this late. Fly finds a nice punish for it, taking out some peasants and slowing down the tech further. That's the big story here. Tech has not yet started for Infi. The tier 2, the casters would save him, but will he get them soon enough is the question. First tier, very hurt as well. Gonna have to back off. Okay. Still these lumber issues, but he got a lumber mill up and the tech has started. So it's not the worst situation Infi could be in. A million times better than Northern Isles was. Yeah, with... Tower's basically now, basically now up in both bases. I think Infi should right now try to creep level 3. He doesn't have much time. He should know Raiders are coming soon, but they're not here yet. Right now is when he needs to try to know. It would be so good if he could interfere with the healing at the fountain. No items for Fly at all. Arcane keeps the workers safe on the left-hand side. And then Infi can unfold a very, very strong tier 2 human play. Scouting on the left-hand side. Is something coming? Do I have to expect another wave of attacks? But no, we can enter the temple, actually. Aim's close to three, but he's not quite there yet. It's a little bit more from these creeps. Lasset steal here would be huge for Fly. Doesn't get it. If he needs one more. One more creep for the level up. No crowd control just yet, but Footman should be able to deal with this Berserker in no time. Breath, maybe? Nope. And here we go. Claws of attack on the Archmage as well as Water Elemental Level 2. And the surround on the Panda. Glorious. What a roadblock on all of the plans of Fly to go pushing. It's not looking good for the Orc. Here. Looking tremendous. He's getting up more towers. Very important to secure these bases, of course. Would love to see a few lumber mills to block these bases as well. Especially at the expansion. Infi's Lumber, though, still a little bit on the lower side. Can't afford Masonry, for example. Towers, oh, towers, right. towers, towers. Masonry coming now. Shop as well as a blacksmith. Yeah. 
Entry now caught by the ensnares. This is usually where the human loses map control when ha will have to back off. Easy kills for the orc. This is where the orc hero levels can sometimes spiral out of control, but right now they are still looking pretty damn weak. Right on. But Mountain King has been started. And Fee, oh, maybe a town portal would have be been better. Yep, 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 yeah. yep. This is a lot of footies going down in Fee. Trying to make them buy time. He doesn't want the raiders in his main. Double Sanctum is coming. Fly now on a timer. Once we have the breakers and the sorks and priests, there's going to be zero chance for Fly to ever win a fight. Maybe you can snipe a base, luckily, but that is also unlikely. Fly now under serious time pressure. How much can you get done? We get the middle. That's two huge consumables and a solid chunk of XP. Plus, it's all for free as you're healing. Infi has the Mountain King out, a strong Archmage, and even potions against some nuke. Rifles, priests. And soon to have breakers and then no stomp, only a breath. It's not too easy and Infi can just calm the game down a little bit, creep up, get even higher levels. Whoa, I was worried about the Ogre Lord, but no, traps him there. Big camps for both of them. Oh, and a big item for Infi as well, gets the big aura. Endurance, really, really good. And this is a luxury for Infi right now. He is weak still at the moment, doesn't have the big army yet, and he wasn't getting controlled totally, so was able to sneak in this one camp. What a nice price he got for it. And this is the perfect fighting position here. On the high ground, could even call a militia. Ooh, the raiders, they tried to pass on the right hand flank to the. Or towards the castles. One is getting caught early. Breath of Fire is nice, but it's also only level one. Infi rebought the town portal, not making that much use of the additional movement speed just yet. He's just facing this. Straight up against the heal ward and a big mana panda. Yeah, I think Fly is sizzling out. He's got only raiders, and your human army is too strong right now. The caster is super good against them. The slow breaker soon. Priests also, if they are alive, and four two hero levels already. AM packing quite the punch with these items also. And Infi is looking more and more stable. A good horse only jumps as high as it has to. And that's exactly what Infi is doing here. Yeah, a couple of losses. But what's the follow-up for Fly? That's the big question. Didn't opt for a tier 2 counter expansion. Some units heal to the fountain once again. That's totally in his area now, on his control now. But Infi can just recover. Easy. The losses? Severe. He lost pretty much his entire army in this fight. But also the recovery is so good and easy. Fly now backing off. Now he's going for plan B, which is the counter expansion. But I think for that we're too late. And I think for that he also has the wrong hero. Panda is a really good late game hero, but he's not quite as good as the TC in this matchup. There certainly will not be an aura to help out. And now Enfi is getting ready. He's going tier 3. And so we are heading to the late, late game. Who doesn't like some inner fire, some polymorph even as Fly doesn't have the spell. He's working on it now. So maybe no polymorph makes me sad. Still, 50 food on both sides. Infi is getting rich now. Really good water elemental play. We saw it earlier in the game, for example, also protecting the expansions against the grunts. Seems like Infi always aware where to send his summons the best. And here he saw the raider attack coming. So he wants to sneak in this one creep camp. That altar could only prevent the blood mage or a paladin town portal home that heal ward is helping a little bit very defensive position for entry doesn't want to give away the lead here if he loses the heroes maybe there's still something to be claimed heal ward finally taken out not having clap here is pretty annoying on the mountain went for bash earlier it was low mana i guess he has to use Stormbolt here, what happened next? Also a powerful weapon, Infi's rifles seem to be safe. The Sorceress is not, but every bolt 
is gonna be a kill, is it not? Hey, it's level two. He got plenty of mana. It, oh, that breath of fire was sweet though. Level four. AoE intensifies. Infi holds the altar for now. More and more dispel. Bash, hammer, panda dead. And that was supposed to be the carry. Fly is falling apart. 33 food. This attack on the back of a counter expansion, a bit questionable. Yeah, I guess he felt like he had to buy time, trade out the raiders where they still held some worth. But Infi now is just too strong. Saw that early game, good play by Infi. Hardly anything to complain about here. And the MK now enjoying the journey. 100% with the boots, with the endurance aura. Usually, not right now, but usually. He's super fast and that pendulum swings back. Infi knows exactly that this fight was supposed to buy some time. Time for what can only be an expo. And whether this is like, this is not the best army to kill buildings. Slowly and steady over time, you will find the damage he needs. All right, last stand for Fly. He has to win the fight right here. Preferably get double level five and then maybe there is a way. But Infi can close out the game right here if he destroys the expansion. Yeah. Or the army once again. It's only 42 food. Oh, excuse me. 39. Chain Lightning Breath of Fire. Amazing combo since Infi had no time to go to a shop. But Sorks slow everything down. And Infi can just trade straight up because his heroes scale better. Alchemist third. We see Mia once again, as we saw on map two as well. Oh. Oh. Here. Really strong. You can steal the wolves, by the way. He's gonna control magic. There we go. My wolfies now. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah, fly. This is rough. Ten food down. Kodo snacked a little bit, but with one bash or a bit of slow, this should be it. But Infi's priority is clear. Wash this expansion away and against level three water elementals. And the wolves. There's so many summons. And no panda, no more. Is there? Slow, focus, kill again with a crit of the woofy. Infi comes back swinging in this series. He may have lost map one with his main race, but that Infi wants to prove was just a little slip up. That was a fluke. And the following two maps look really, really strong. Match points now for him. Back to back victories here on Fly's losers map. Painful. Really, really painful. This game was kind of nice in the beginning. The harass was. But there was just no follow-up. Too many raiders caught. Not enough structural damage done. And with that, Infi takes the lead. And we shall roll the dice again. Hammerfall. We're going to have a 25% chance once again for uh, random. Uh, for human, I mean. Uh, what would Fly like to face the most? Undead. I would think Undead probably, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Undead. Infi's Undead has looked pretty bad this whole tournament. It's also where he lost the one map in the Ascension against Soen. So I guess he's the one hoping to dodge Scourge. I wouldn't actually, for once, I wouldn't mind seeing a bit of Night Elf here. I think Infi's style uh, should fit fly very well, but on the other side we also get orcs and night elves uh, for the rest of the day, so maybe get give, give me some infi human, but that lowers the chance of infi getting human tomorrow you know, I don't mind, give me anything, I'm I'm happy with what we get, what what map do we get? Hammerfall! That is Hammerfall one of the newest in the rotation and in we are, race is Orc again. Oh, the mathematician's getting mad over me talking about odds and chances once again. <laughs> Triggered. Yeah, it's so funny. Well, 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 it is the second Orc mirror of the day. Fly in the bottom right hand side fighting for survival. Surviving the ascension phase already over moon was enormous and nobody really expected that out of fly also a good performance versus Kaho, but as we said not enough is this the end of the journey for our fly 
Tournament now on the line. Farseer, Headhunter, and Mirror, it shall be once again. Which, of course, normally isn't the preferred way for Fly to play this matchup. Normally, he's more of a Blade Master player. We all know his legendary Blade Master plays of the good kind and the not so good kind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not going that direction here. Could be nice against Infis Farseer, of course, but Fly doesn't know that race yet. Yeah, random versus orc, man. It kind of always forces a scout, either with a wolf or a peon. You don't really want that. So for now, he's blind. Ironically, farseers normally see quite a lot should, and quite far. Should have skilled far side, eh? Should have skilled far side. Oh, steal! Ooh, Fly yes, with the steal on the hydra. Nice. Good opening. And this is what opened up map one for him as well, even though it was a different matchup. These early game steals, early game levels paved the way for his map win. And I wouldn't mind game five. Just gonna get this team in the turtle here as well. And yeah, nothing Infi can really do about it here. Unless the grunt. No. Great start for fly. Infi. On the back foot right away. Okay, taking the wind out of his sails, momentum. A little bit on fly side, exactly what he needed in a series like this. Two giga brains of this game, playing every day, watching the highest tournaments every day. They know what to do in theory, but who gets it on the map better? And the tech for fly is also quite a bit faster. Everything is looking amazing here for Fly. And if he gets the green, the next one, that's going to be level 2. So Infi feels that he has to contest this one. Does he have more headhunters? Um, yeah, one more headhunter at the moment. Okay, so Infi has a little bit of a DPS lead. For how long is the question? Woofies on both sides, countering each other. Fly with faster reinforcements. Nice deny. Okay, there's some quality Orc Mirror. If you're working on his headhunter army, he's going to have a lot of damage output soon. Three headhunters already, and more on the way. Making it to the shop. Goes for the surplus. All right. Wants to be in a strong position to trade hits with this Varsir. Hmm. Both deny creeping for a long time. They do have some options at tier two. TC, Panda, Shadowhunter. If they're super cheeky, even a Pit Lord. He's trying to bait Fly into attacking into him. Fly has to check if the green camp is being taken. Maybe he could just back away from this because Infi, of course, has the head under lead. We see this. Fly should have also seen it. And if he's a bit too stubborn, this might not go too well for him. But Tavern now available to Fly. And soon for Infi, the tier 2 is done, but Fly can't really reach. You now he does with something in the middle. Doesn't result in a panda yet, was lacking the gold, and panda it is. It was Infi's goal, uh, similar to the game before, to block the path to Tavern, but Fly thinking one step ahead and now backstabbing. Infi quickly splitting the headhunters away, didn't take damage on all of them. And he's going for his own panda. Going for a very quick troll region as well. Very logical, of course. Helpful against the AOE damage. Oh, two headhunters about to fall. The deny doesn't work. Very unfortunate low damage roll, I guess. So Fly is making strides. And a backstab. Oh. Whee! That is so sweet by Infi. Two units here as well as a follow up. And the next breath of fire is ready in a second. Double kill. That's the one. Chasing for more. All right. Even exchange so far. One for one headhunters. But the wolf block by Fly as well. Oh, that was nice. Save set on here. From the panda. And this game's still on. Yeah. Four headhunters for Infi plus the troll region upgrade. So he's definitely stronger. His shaman are coming out a lot later though. Yeah. Much, much later. Maybe that doesn't matter too much. It's really the level 2 wolves against which you need the shaman. Level 1 wolves, not that scary really. Panda finds one more kill, but we have a big experience lead on the first hero of the fly. 
this could be a big deal later on. Yeah, with wolves too. Uh, not so much, but the chain lightning will make an impact. We were probably going to see a lot of lightning with lightning shields and the chain lightning. Double claw on fly. It's for now the better inventory. It is still everybody's game. Good news for us is we will very likely see Rara this game. That's right. Because Master Training should be in the works soonish. As the game now is slowing down a bit. We're going to see a third hero soon. The tier 3 upgrades kicking in. And now it's about creeping as best you can. And lots of items up for grabs in the in the middle, the two consumables. And that's what's on the line now. Shaman coming in. Yeah, it's so nice that we have more options to play in Orc Mirror now. Not only Blade Master Raider Walker Kodo, but also the tier three with the Farseer Headhunter. Yeah. And this is where the late game fights can get really crazy. With strong heroes, fish supply, maybe even upward if we get some headhunter damage upgrades as well. The damage output is going to be insane. Heal scrolls, heal wave, going to be utmost importance later on as well. And yeah, we're, we're slowly cooking up towards the crazy tier 3 stage. And a big mana potion is certainly helpful when the levels are rising. No level 3 just yet after 8 minutes, relatively rare, shows how much we were brawling in the early game and how little actually died. But yeah, this is of course the items that you want when you're facing elimination and you're fly. Really good items for him. Picking up more now at the next gold mine. Ring of Protection also is really good for the Panda. He's gonna be the only frontline hero slash unit. Gonna get one? I got second circus. We get third heroes. Shadowhunter for healing. As well as the first shaman upgrade and obviously the berserker upgrade. There will be lots of AoE, so having additional HP on your units is very beneficial. Very nice base build here by Infi, by the way, right? He has burrows way in the back. Once you have them protected away from the berserkers. I like that. Shop being attacked. Infi's trying to TP back, save the shop if he can. Got the panda level 3 just a moment ago. Oh my god, everything's dumped up. Holy crap, that run is by the fire. Oof. But a TP out by Fly doesn't... Doesn't want to fight. Ah, I guess he was lacking that third hero for himself. Yeah, that Shadowhunter is only out now. Ra 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 upgrade has been started. At least on Fly's side, Infi's still a little bit behind. So get them emotes ready. Shop has to be rebuilt. This is of course... A lack of clarities and heal selves now. Good prep and good attack by Fly. Important creep camp now. The last big camp on the map. Infi might be the one to get it. He's a very protected panda, by the way. Fly's panda not protected at all. He needs an invul for sure. True. Big turtle gone. Second. Ho oh, ho! Double Ankh. Well, Fly should probably not go for hero focus this game. It's pretty unlucky. Like, having one Ankh for safety is okay, but double Ankh, nobody wants. Could have been a mana stone, could have been a heal wards, you know. So much better stuff there. But that's how it goes sometimes. Oh, Ooh. fly, lagging. The camera disconnected already. Oh no. Can't have a game without a camera. But we have a new sub. Thank you! Ete2493. Whoop whoop indeed. Whoop whoop. My dog, thank you. Oof. Seems like right before the big fight of the game. Fly here having some issues. Hopefully he's going to be able to fix those. We had some uh, touch and go moments as well yesterday with 40. Unfortunately, on the one map on Echo Isles, that didn't seem to do him any favors. Close series against Lin. What a great showing. Oh, and we are getting back into the game. Jumping straight into the fight in the panda mirror. Infi, his panda in a little bit of trouble, but we know he has the Ark and he can eat these. Isn't Ark actually on cooldown? I would know. Panda by Fly, you called it, is in jeopardy! And it's just died with an invul, a heal scroll, everything. Oh no, and his army, look at them! He needs that heal scroll so bad! Oh but Infi gets it! 
the items? Was that? Was he? What? Was he lagging? Was that I misclick? Don't know, uh, dude, I don't know. Oh, that's a loss you can't afford, man. Get the heal scroll. You could have turned that fight around, dude. Yeah. Oh, that's heartbreaking. That is heartbreaking. And now Infi's looking good. Shadow Hunter level two, three point five on the other two heroes. And the XP lead has swung the other way now. Yeah. Fly trying to rebuild. He's gonna get a 50 supply army again. But Infi is certainly now with the lead. Ooh. Hard to imagine a more rough situation here, or a rougher situation here for Fly. Can he bounce back somehow? Needs to smash the upcoming fight or find another way. Maybe an economical way. Speaking of economical, thank you, Ultra Roffel, for the tier one sub. Roffel Lamau, thank you. We got bloodlust. That's <laughs> a classic hammer fall. The creeps yeah, right? attack. Right, that happens so often, dude. Yep. <laughs> that hello camp happens to the best, including me. Shadow on level 3 here is going to be the next big level up. If he might be able to get it. There's a natural here. Oh, yeah, that must be enough. Oh, Infi is looking strong here. Yeah. Double heal scroll. Close to level 2 heal wave. Interesting he goes wolves level 2, but okay. Is there any advantage left for fly? I don't think so. One heal scroll versus two, Ewe level three shadow Ewe. versus level two shadow. It's a little bit of experience here to be grabbed. Could be a bad fighting position for Infi here, perhaps if he gets flanked. And yeah, he doesn't like the look of things here. He's gonna boost out with a speed scroll. Look for a better angle. Two heal scrolls and an Ankh. That's what he has to survive. And of course, a lot of mana on that Shadow Hunter. Breath of Fire by Infi is tremendous. One heal scroll available. The Ring of Regen is helping! Focus Fire! This is looking okay, maybe forcing him into a town portal. Level 4 though, and this panda is huge! Though is the Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire. No more heal scroll to counter this, and Infi has shop control. Yeah, these pandas getting up crazy damage numbers. 10,000 plus, Chain Lightning rattling in as well. Ooh. Everything's hurt. This is <laughs> always so crazy. These late game fights, dude, everything's about to die. We have more heal wave though, Hex! And that's the kill! Infi Panda has an arc, so it's not that meaningful. Fly is falling apart, and as uh, much as we were overjoyed for him when he eliminated Moon in the Ascension in the playoffs, it's a little bit of suffering here. First against Kaho, now against Infi. Fly needs a miracle to survive another day! Not like this! Seems like no miracles today. No, sir, it's GG and Infi, our winner today. He survives in the lower bracket, moves on, and will meet an old rival with fortitude waiting. Overjoyed as always, Infi, a man of big emotions, confetti, fireworks, everything over there in Shanghai. Three wins in a row, dude. This series started off 